I'm outside of the shop here working on the Heppel White dressing table. Uh, yesterday, I, well, the day before yesterday, I flooded this with raw linseed oil. This is cherry. So I put the uh, linseed oil on here and rubbed it in and made sure that it was soaked in well, then wiped it off. And then the next day, I painted on with a brush four coats of seed lac, very dark shellac. And here's, a, here's the shellac I was using. And um, it, it changed the color quite a bit, as, as you can see here. And now on, I've left that shellac dry overnight and I'm now sanding the surface. Uh, I expected a little bit more oil to show up um, on the surface and be picked up in the sandpaper, but the, the oil is sealed off by the shellac. It's raw linseed oil, it's not dry, it's, it's still wet, but it's, it's in the wood. And now I'm flattening the shellac. I, as I mentioned, I put on five coats of shellac in the same day. I just went around and around and around. Um, and so there's a lot of shellac on here. And what I'm doing now is, is uh, flattening that shellac. So as I, as I sand here, you will see, I'm hoping you will be able to see how the, there are ridges in here right now. And w by using the pad or my hand here, you'll see that those ridges were, uh, will flatten off. So I, you can see the shiny and the the shiny parts that are left, so I keep sanding until I get rid of all those shiny parts. And that means that that shellac now is, is flattened uh, on the surface. It's, it's nice when you get all that white white dust. That means the shellac has dried well. Now the next steps, I'll be French polishing this, the next steps. But I need to go over the whole, all the surfaces now. Just like this and flattening out that, that surface. So what I'll, what it, what I would want to see are reflections that are um, very clear in the surface, just like a, a mirror. Uh, and that's, Flattening this is achieving that kind of a, a surface. Now I like to use the raw linseed oil because I can do the shellac on the next day. If I use boiled linseed oil, it seems I have to wait a while, maybe two weeks for the oil to actually stop its chemical drying process because there are uh, chemicals added to the dryers added to the lin boiled linseed oil that cause uh, 
cause the drying process to happen and I need to wait until that completes before putting shellac on. Otherwise, they're, I risk having bubbles come up. So I didn't want to wait and, and raw linseed oil lets me start right away with shellac. Some, there'll be some, some oil on the surface when I paint the shellac on, but the oil tends to float up above the, and float on the shellac. But I'm not, I'm not getting very much shellac on here at all, or oil on the sandpaper at all. There, there is a little bit, but not very much. Uh, and that, that helps, because I can use the sandpaper longer, because it doesn't get loaded with oil. Now, normally, or sometimes then, it, that oil, once I get it off the surface with this sanding, it won't be there on the next French polishing process that I use. There, there won't be any more oil. To remove. The cherry is a closed grain so I'm not actually having an issue with the grain filling here. Um, on mahogany I tend to just keep putting shellac on uh, over several days and sanding in between days flattening like this every day and then finally it gets to where the shellac is filled the grain but with the cherry I don't have that, that problem of uh, filling the grain So that's, uh, that'll have to be done on the whole surface of the, and the drawer fronts as well.